The fifth FIPS Mush World Big Shore Angling Championships was held in Langebaan. This is on the west coast of South Africa. This event was hosted by SASA, the South African Shore Angling Association, and takes place every four years. An atmosphere of immense anticipation was ever present as the first day session was about to start. Before the fishing session starts, the anglers get issued bait, comprising of selected specific fresh bait made up in packets so that every angler has got exactly the same bait to work with. The anglers will be fishing a four hour session. After the bait issue, it's off to their drawn zones to start preparation for their first four hour fishing session. On the blow of the horn, the competition commences. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Ratif Krieger here. I'm the uh, uh, safety officer of, of, um, of this event, which is the fourth World Games. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it is hosted here in South Africa um, at the pretty west coast. Um, we have um, 18 men sides, we have 12 lady sides attending, um, then we have 10 master sides and 9 pair sides. Um, they fish in a 20 by 20 meter square peg. There's a bucket that we put the fish in. Um, all fish are kept alive and all fish are put back into the water. The uh, competition lasts for four days. They fish every day um, four hours, uh, but at different times. The scoreboards were quickly opened. The West Coast of South Africa offers a variety of species that falls exactly into the style of pegged shore fishing, making the West Coast the ideal location. For most of the anglers, this area and species are new to the bouquet of how and what to target, making this event even more challenging and exciting. Small little eagle ray we got you. My first uh, eagle ray. Your first eagle ray? Yeah. Well done, Andrea. So we expect a lot of uh, rays today with the warm water being a bit warmer. The wind turned from a southeasterly to a more westerly wind today. We try carefully to take the fish out of the water, being mindful of the pin at the back. Rays we always measure with the disc width, so we put it there at zero centimeters. But up, uh, come on, it is uh, 30 centimeters. Okay. Three zero, happy? Yes, happy and I release the fish quickly. Now every angler's objective is to catch as many fish possible. Every centimeter counts and every species adds to their final points. On the first day, most anglers experiment to get familiar with their conditions, the area and the species they fish with. At the same time, still chasing as many as what they possibly can catch and release to get a head start. Shore-based fishing is by far the most participated saltwater facet of fishing, allowing age groups from very young up to age of 70 plus, both male and female. The South African West Coast is an ideal destination if you look at quantities, number of fish. This allows them to identify a pattern that they can apply their experience and strategies to in order to get the most points on the board. Now special care are taken on the handling of fish and the releasing of them, keeping sustainable fishing in mind. Even the rules are structured accordingly, allowing certain types of hooks to ensure the least possible damage to fish, thus increasing the probability of a healthy survival rate. And even though this is just a four hour session at a time, physically it takes a lot out of you. Casting, running up and down, 
and work right, normally adding immense amount of value to your end results. The quicker you can get a new bait in the water or alternate your baits, the better your results. At the end of a session like this, you are pretty much exhausted. The water temperature on the first day was quite a bit warmer. The temperature gets dictated by the prevailing winds at the time, as well as the strength of it creating an upwelling or churning of the currents, bringing surface water closer inshore and more dense, thus raising the temperature. Should the wind direction change, the opposite applies. The temperature determines which species are more active and come inshore to feed. And on the first day, the flatfish, or better known as skates and rays, made up majority of the catches. The anglers are allowed more than one rod, but only one rod in the water or even pointing towards the water. Any other rod you want to take for different functions, you have to leave behind you pointing away from the water. Different rods are used for this specific facet, ranging from a 10 to even a 16 foot, as well as different actions in their tips. This adds to the sensitivity of the rod, the casting ability and the application. When considering the area you're fishing on the day, the formation in front of you or where the fish are feeding. In general, longer rods are to get better distance and the shorter rods are much easier to get your work rate up when the fish are feeding inshore. When it comes to the bait presentation, this plays a key part of your success. Finding out what the fish are feeding on. And to use a basic example, in warmer water, your fishy baits are normally more effective. When the water goes a bit colder, you can definitely add some white bait to your presentation. The specific bait presentation plays a role as well. Anglers need to be able to present a really natural bait. Specialized cottons, like latex, is used to present the best possible looking baits. Once you've identified the baits that's producing the best results, you can make up a couple of them while your rod's still in the water. And when you reel in, it's a matter of clipping on the new fresh baits and getting back in the water as quick as possible. In some cases, the anglers will use the rods behind them to bait up, and once they've retrieved the rod in the water, they quickly just switch to the rod behind them.